9-11, you know, last week a new study came out saying that if you're worried about developing Alzheimer's, make certain you exercise. Researchers at UT Southwestern found that regular exercise over a year slowed down the de degeneration of the brain, specifically the part of the brain that is tied to memory. Interesting, huh? Well, while preventing the disease is important, what kinds of treatments are there for people who already have it? And uh, Dr. Joe Giovinco, Dr. Joe, back with us this morning. You're excited about yeah. this. You were talking to me about this I last know. week. You're excited about this. I, I am. You know, there's so much coming out right now, and certainly, um, you know, we're looking at maybe physical types of treatment modalities, and certain, the one tonight that we're going to talk about is going to be about a brain cap that's going to be used. Um, however, there's other stuff out there right now. Uh, we know that exercise, though, is basically, I, I spoke with Dr. Amanda Smith over at the Bird. Alzheimer's Institute, USF Bird Alzheimer's Institute, and she says exercise really is no, the number one recommendation she has for anyone. Really? Um, absolutely, and this new study from out of the University of Texas really does confirm that. They saw a slower decline in the size of the hippocampus. That's the, the, uh, the part of the brain that they watch very, very closely uh, in people with Alzheimer's disease. Um, so that really is number one. But the other thing that they're doing there as well is there are multiple uh, drug studies that are going on. However, there has, as she has said, been very uh, a lot of spectacular failures yeah. um, in some of those, but there are some now that they are advancing. But they are also trying deep brain stimulation. So essentially implanting a stimulator within the brain, mm -hmm. um, and they're doing that now for older Alzheimer's patients. There, previous studies had shown in the younger ones it didn't seem to work as well, right. but now there is going to be a clinical trial. It is going to be going on between the University of South Florida and Tampa General, where they will be inserting these deep brain stimulators to try to kind of stimulate that area of the brain. Can I ask you one quick question? Sure. And I want to talk about your, your story that's going to run tonight, but before we get to that, go back to the exercise thing for a second. Yes. Is that to help prevent or is it to help people who already have the disease? Well, they believe that it can help prevent and prevent in the sense of remember, if you can slow down the decline of the brain or the degeneration yeah. of the brain, you're going to decrease or uh, slow the development of the symptoms which incapacitate people. Okay. Um, so yes, so definitely, I think that prevention is probably a strong word. However, um, that University of Texas group is also looking at other things along with exercise. Um, it, remember, what's good for the heart is good for the brain. So yeah. they're looking at cholesterol management, blood pressure okay. management, as well as exercise in that one. Okay. All right. Let's talk about the cap. Yeah. Let's get to the cap because you, you came to me with this this week and you're, last yeah. week. You're very excited about it. So basically, yeah. So uh, basically the, the researcher was here um, at USF uh, about 10 years ago. I met him. I interviewed him. And it, there was a lot of, honestly, ridicule of, over what he found, but basically said that the cell phone waves were actually helping mice with Alzheimer's. He helping, initially, not helping. hurting. Right. Helping. Initially, initially he said, I was looking outside, I was looking at all the USF students with their cell phones stuck to their heads, and <laughs> I thought this has to be a bad thing. So I took a bunch of mice and I exposed them to these um, cell phone radiation, uh, the, the, the equivalent of decades of cell phone radiation, and they got better. He said it took me two years to admit <laughs> and to publish because I knew that I was going to be bombarded um, you know, with individuals that would be skeptical. So 10 years later now, he does have a device out there. It is in clinical trials. And thankfully, even though he's in Arizona now, um, the trials are going on here in, in Tampa. Is the device part, is the cap part of the device? It, it is. He has, he has reconfigured it and created something that can be used by humans. Um, and so it's, it's a very, it's very early. And I yeah. have to tell you, it's this, you know, it's promising, but you know, we'll talk about it at 10. Yeah, I hope everybody watches because really there's a lot of information there. But, um, but yeah, um, it looks like um, the preliminary results. But remember, tiny groups of people don't mean that it's going to help a larger group necessarily. Okay. But, all right, I'm gonna, I, I know you don't want to give too much. <laughs> I know, I know, I know I do, you too I well. want to. I've known you too long. You're trying not to give too much <laughs> away. But we're talking about using cell phone technology, Correct. cell phone waves Correct. to help improve an Alzheimer's an Alzheimer patient. Right, because remember, we have our brains um, have a, we have something called a blood brain barrier, so a lot of the drugs don't like to penetrate into the brain. That's ah. been the hard part of getting some of these drugs that worked in mice to work in humans. So now there are these increased number of studies like the deep brain stimulators that are 
putting the, the basically electronics and stimulating the brain from within. There's also been, they've looked at also TMS, transcranial magnetic right. stimulation, but that can't seem to penetrate as much either, but there's ongoing studies there too. So we're looking at the physical types of treatments potentially okay. that can maybe augment or help with some of the chemical ones. All right, I won't make you tell anymore. Okay. We have to keep them watching all day <laughs> and into the night. 10 o'clock hey, tonight. Good to see you. you 10 o'clock tonight, right? Yes. 10 o'clock tonight, all right. Thank you, Joy. Thanks.